Family Recipe, this is Ann. Hi, and welcome to Ann's Family Recipe. On this week's episode of The Office Eats, I'm making these incredible buttermilk biscuit breakfast sandwiches in honor of two different Office episodes. So first of all, I am paying tribute to in season two, um, I think it's like the third episode, Office Olympics, right at the beginning, you see Michael is at the office very, very early in the morning and Ryan comes in with a sausage, egg and cheese sandwich that Michael has requested. And Ryan asks, so why did you bring me in so early today, Michael? And he said, well, for the sausage, egg and cheese biscuit sandwich. And Ryan says he's gonna go take a nap in his car because it's just ridiculous that Michael brought him in that early. It's so funny. So I wanted to make breakfast sandwiches in honor of that, but also, one of my favorite episodes is when Michael grills his foot on the George Foreman grill when he's making bacon for himself. He likes to have breakfast in bed. So before he goes to bed, he lays out bacon on his George Foreman grill and then in the morning he wakes up and turns it on and goes back to sleep so that when he wakes up, he has the smell of fresh cooking bacon sizzling beside him. But on that unfortunate morning, he stepped onto the George Foreman grill and grills his foot. And it is so, so hilarious. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of bacon onto these sandwiches too. So for today's recipe, I'm using Berkshire pork sausage and peppered bacon from Logan Family Farms, who I partner with periodically for videos. They're located in Irwin, Pennsylvania, which is very close to where I am here in Pittsburgh, and they have the most incredible pork products and dry aged beef. So you will see just how incredibly delicious these pork products turn out in our sandwiches. My homemade buttermilk biscuit recipe starts with three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, so I'm making my own. I added a tablespoon of white vinegar to my glass measuring cup, and then I topped it off with milk up to the three quarter cup mark. Then I stirred it and set it aside so it would kind of thicken up a little bit. Then in my large mixing bowl, I added two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt, and then I whisked it all together. Next, I grabbed my stick of unsalted butter out of the freezer. And this is a tip that I learned from Rachel Ray years and years ago. But if you freeze your butter and then grate it on a box grater, it makes these perfectly even shreds of butter that just incorporate into your flour mixture so easily. So for this recipe, you use six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then you can see I'm just using a fork to lightly toss them around into the flour mixture. Then I'm pouring in my buttermilk, again, stirring with a fork or you can use a wooden spoon and you just want to stir it together until it's combined. You never wanna overwork your dough. So next, I'm lightly flouring my work surface and then using my hands to pat the dough into a long rectangle shape. And then I'm folding it over on itself and turning it clockwise, like a quarter turn, and doing this about four or five times. And this is creating those light, flaky layers in my biscuit dough. And just so you know, at the last minute, I decided to double the amount of biscuit dough I was making. So that's why you see so much dough here that I'm working with. Next, I continued using my hands to pat the dough into a long rectangular shape about an inch thick. And you will see I was not very precise about this as the process continued. So if you want evenly shaped biscuits, you might wanna grab a ruler for this one. I used a drinking glass, because I don't have a biscuit cutter. I brushed the rim of the drinking glass with a little bit of flour, and then I pressed straight down into the biscuit dough. You don't want to twist the glass as you're pressing down, even though that is very tempting, because it's gonna kinda of seal off the edges. They're not gonna puff up nice and fluffy like biscuits should. I lined my baking tray with a silicone baking mat or you could use parchment paper and then I placed the biscuits fairly close together and the last step was to brush the tops with milk to help with that beautiful golden brown color on top. And then these baked for about 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And no, they didn't come out perfectly symmetrical, but I kind of like that rustic look and I tell you what, every single one tasted incredible. Next, I needed some bacon for my sandwiches. And since I don't have a butler, I had to make it myself. And you better believe that I borrowed a George Foreman grill from one of my friends, and the bacon turned out surprisingly delicious. It was a really nice, chewy, crisp texture. 
a little bit difficult to clean the George Foreman at the end. Um, and also it was kind of small, so I ended up cooking the rest of the pack of this really yummy black pepper bacon just in a skillet to kind of speed things along here. But I was pleasantly surprised with the George Foreman. Michael Scott knew what he was doing with his bacon. I also used some fresh maple sausage and salt and pepper sausage, again from Logan Family Farms, and I hand formed some little sausage patties. This was a lot of sausage. <laughs> we didn't need this much, but we ended up eating it throughout the rest of the week because it was just fabulous. The flavor of farm fresh Berkshire pork sausage is seriously unbeatable. Next, I whipped up some scrambled eggs, and for my family I used six eggs and about two tablespoons of half and half, and in true Anne's family recipe fashion, I chose a bowl that was way too small for what I was mixing. <laughs> But in the end, I was able to thoroughly incorporate everything together. So in a skillet over about medium low heat, I added a tablespoon of butter and allowed that to melt. And then the key to really yummy, fluffy scrambled eggs is to cook them low and slow. You have to be patient. So it's very tempting if the eggs aren't cooking very quickly to crank up the heat, but don't do it. You just wanna slowly stir it, incorporating them, kind of folding them over each other, and you're gonna have really nice, fluffy scrambled eggs. So the final step was to create my breakfast sandwiches. So I started with a biscuit, some scrambled eggs, a couple slices of sharp cheddar cheese, a sausage patty, a couple slices of bacon, and then I topped it off with the lid of my biscuit. So we finally assembled all of our components and I get to give my sausage and bacon, egg and cheese biscuit sandwich a taste. Smells so good and the biscuits turned out super fluffy. I'm very excited about this. Mm. It's really, really good. This one has the maple sausage on it. So it has that slight bit of sweetness. The eggs are super light and fluffy. And then of course it's nice to have that sharp cheddar cheese, the salty peppery bacon, and then the really fluffy biscuit, which is nice and crisp on the top too, and very, very buttery. This sandwich is amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you like today's recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.